Hello and welcome to another reason why I like to read. See, I like to read because of inspiration and by that I mean like personal growth kind of characters to look up to and inspire to be similar to, not exactly like because everyone is their own person, but there are people out there who are inspiring and there's people like that in the books that I read. More specifically, I'm talking about strong female characters. But let me give you some examples so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Starting with number five is Ali Bell from Alice in Zombieland by Gina Showalter. See, Ali Bell is a girl who, she, at the beginning of the story, she loses everything. And after a lot of grieving, which she is allowed to do, she actually picks herself up and becomes a slayer, a zombie slayer. So, talk about getting a rotten hand in life and doing the best of it with it. Next up we have Sydney Sage from the Bloodline series by Rochelle Mead and this is the spin-off series to Vampire Academy and Sydney, see she's not exactly kick-ass in the physical sense but she is a pretty smart cookie and she also does the best of what she's given and she basically has to rewire her whole belief system because things are happening that I'm not gonna tell you about because if you haven't read it I mean I don't I don't like to spoil books but basically she is awesome and even though like I said it's not a physical kickassery she's still pretty kickass and since I'm talking about Rochelle Mead and Vampire Academy I can't not talk about Rose Hathaway from the Vampire Academy series she is absolutely kickass warrior lady I kid you not. She is amazing. She's snarky and beautiful and she knows who she is and she fights for what she believes in and she's loyal and she can kick some serious butt. So definitely someone to look up to. Another kick-ass lady that I love is Kat Crawford from the Night Huntress series by Janine Frost and this is an adult series and very soon I will be posting a uh, review type thing about the series, so look out for that. But in the meantime, Kat Crawford has been dealt a very crappy hand of life and she makes the best of it. She learns how to fight, she learns how to hunt and kill vampires and she is pretty awesome. She is definitely not someone you want to mess with and I absolutely love her. And last but not least, we have Selena from Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Maas and I will actually show you this book because I like the new covers better. But she is probably my favorite kick-ass warrior lady right now. I'm not even kidding. She is absolutely amazing. She is confident, she knows who she is, she knows all her strengths and she is a little too arrogant to know her weaknesses, but she is getting there slowly. And she has Kyle and Dorian, who are both amazing people, and she's magical, and she's just amazing. It is strong female characters like that that make me want to read even more, because they are absolutely amazing and inspiring. And yes, at times they could be annoying, but more often than not, they are just really people to look up to, even though they're characters in books. But for us book lovers, we know that characters in books are not just characters in books. They're actual people that we love and we care about and we continue reading. So all of these books I definitely recommend. Actually, all of them are series and I definitely recommend reading them. So just a quick rundown, that was The White Rabbit Chronicles by Gina Showalter, The Night Country series by Janine Frost, uh, Vampire Academy and Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead, and Throne of Glass series. Actually, I don't think it has a different series from the first book, but it's by Sarah J. Maas, and all of these books are amazing, and you should read them. So this was it for today's reason. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you again very soon. Bye.